All right, music fans and foes alike, welcome back to The Real Music Observer, where, again, yours truly is observing real music in real time for real people, just like you right there and me right here. Let's talk about Dennis DeYoung and Styx. Yeah, a little topic change, and uh, you're going to see more videos dealing with other topics. Uh, you know, I, I told you that yesterday, and here we go today. So Dennis is actually asking Styx to tour with him one more time, uh, to actually do a real Styx tour with the real creative force behind Styx. Now, the last few weeks, of course, we've been talking about another band and their creative energy and where it comes from and so forth. Uh, if anybody is watching this video and they're going to deny the fact that DDY uh, is and was the creative force behind Styx, then I'm not sure what planet you've been on. Uh, yes, Tommy Shaw is very important to the band. Uh, he more or less represents the harder rock side of the band, but that's also kind of debatable. Tommy Shaw has had a history of recording slower songs and ballads. Uh, his biggest chart hit, as I exposed a while back, was with another band, and that band was called the Damn Yankees, and that song is called High Enough. And even though it's a different, it's not the Dennis DeYoung style ballad, it's a power ballad. And uh, the chicks loved it, everybody dug it, and it I think it hit top 10 for the Damn Yankees back in, I'm going to say 1990. I'm going to just uh, guess at that one. I think that's about right. So getting over that hurdle, we understand that Dennis DeYoung is more of a crooner. Uh, by the way, he's 70 years old. His voice sounds amazing. If you're going to compare, say, Dennis DeYoung to Don Henley, as far as quality of vocals at 70, DDY all the way. I, I listen to Don. Yeah, he can hit the notes, but you're getting all the squeakiness, and uh, it, his voice has gone downhill, unfortunately, and it's happened recently. It wasn't just, you know, a thing that you could see happening over a long period of time. Dennis is a classically trained vocalist. Dennis comes up with great concepts and ideas. And it's rather ironic, and I said this in another video, that Styx just came out with an album. And the album is a concept album. <laughs> and, it's, and it's not a bad album. Uh, it's really pretty good. So it's kind of a shame that they couldn't have collaborated with Dennis on this album. Imagine how much better it would have been with Dennis's vocals and Dennis's ideas. But getting back to the tour, I think it's just, I'll use a big word here, preposterous, that Styx wouldn't consider touring again with Dennis DeYoung. And he's basically saying just one more time. Uh, Styx can go on with their buddy uh, Larry from North of the Border, who sounds like crap. That's my opinion. Uh, I'm sure he's an accomplished musician. The spinning keyboard thing, it's just, it's just awesome. I mean, I'm just, that's why I go to a concert, to see a guy spin his keyboard around. Woo! I mean, what is this, heavy metal circa 1985? Uh, it just, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where that comes from. And I'm sure, you know, if you take a poll, there'll be a lot of people who go to the show and don't know who the hell Dennis DeYoung is and just thinks, look at the guy with a spinning keyboard. That's awesome. I'm so glad I went to this show. <clears throat> Meantime, the creative force is touring with a band that sounds just as good, if not better, than the current so-called lineup of sticks. So, and again, I like Tommy Shaw. Uh, for a long time, I sided with Tommy Shaw until I saw Dennis on the road, and he cut a video and a DVD and all that crap back in 2014. And the thing, I think it's recorded in L.A. You can look it up online. I think somebody actually uploaded the entire concert, watch that show and think that you're not watching Styx because it's, it's more of a Styx show than the current Styx lineup. Because, I'm sorry, you can't have someone else singing Grand Illusion. You just, it's just not right, okay? And yeah, guess what? The fans actually want to hear Babe. Yeah, most people actually like the song. Now, if you're so testosterone-driven 
that Babe can't be on the set list because you think it's just too much of a wimpy song. Well, I'm sorry, record sales speak volumes and that song went to number one. Journey didn't even have a number one with a ballad, okay? They had a number two with a ballad, never a number one. So, you know, I hate to argue with the facts, but that's what you're doing if you're saying, oh, well, we don't want ballads, we just want rockers. You know, a good rock show has both. It, it, it contains rock and roll stuff, harder edge stuff. Uh, Styx has a, has a big catalog. By the way, the song that actually got Styx on the map, Lady, that's a power ballad. It's a prototype for a, it's like a progressive power ballad, all right? And it foreshadowed, you know, like, Keep On Loving You, which I think is the quintessential power ballad. The songs that Journey did that were ballads were almost more honest ballads. They weren't necessarily power ballads, but you know, you could throw them in that category because it's a category and people tend to just say it and say, okay, under this umbrella is a power ballad. So Sticks with Dennis DeYoung would be a real concert, it would be a real tour, it would be exciting. If it was billed one more time, you, you make a live album, you cut a DVD, you, you do some bank, you know what I'm saying? You make some money off of it. And Dennis, I think, goes out the way he should go out with respect and dignity and class. And Tommy Shaw doesn't look like the butthead that he is right now. He and JY basically saying, well, we've, we've moved on from that episode and we're fine. I mean, yes, I know. It was settled. We, we, we're visiting all this court stuff because of what's happening with another band right now, but here's the deal, all right? People can sort of reach out their hands and say, hey, man, let's just do this. You know, let's just do this. Screw what the court said. I'm, you know, you're the guy who really, you, you were the band, okay? In, in the case of Dennis DeYoung, he was the band. Now, by the way, Dennis, I'm sorry. You know, I've been getting a lot of bad PR lately. If this video reaches you or the Tommy people will start beating up on me just like I'm getting beat up from another faction. But, folks, let's not argue with the fact that Dennis DeYoung uh, needs to be in sticks at least one more time. And it would be a classy ending to a brilliant career for uh, both Tommy and Dennis and JY and everybody else who's been in sticks. Uh, let's just do it right. Give it the respect it deserves, and then, you know, I think Dennis will let you guys do what you want to do for however many years you've got left. Okay? All right. So I'm Dave. This is the Real Music Observer. And, yes, we will be back observing real music again real soon, and I promised more objective journey saga coverage. And it's coming. Well, sit back and wait and get the popcorn. It's, it's coming.